At this point we have the, uh, the 66 or your 77 or 10C stripped pretty much, field stripped for cleaning. The next step that we want to do is we want to take the striker out and you do that you'll have to take the safety off. See the safety is off, push it forward and then you want to put your finger on the trigger but make sure that you hold the striker it's, it's heavily spring-loaded and it'll fly if you let it go and just let release that and pull that whole assembly right out. You have this the striker the striker spring and the spring guide and we'll set those aside here. Now you can see that you get a little more open to get down in there to do some more cleaning if you want to and for most part that's as far as you need to go if you want to go further, the next step you'll need another kind of tool, um, a pin punch or, a, or some kind of uh, device to get these pins out. And the next step would be to take the trigger guard off. The trigger guard is held on with one spring, it's plastic. I found it easier to pull it, push it out through the back side. push it right out. And then that just pulls right out. You see that there's a couple hooks on the back. That hooks in the back and that's held into place here. That gives you access to the bottom. Gets all the grit off the uh, trigger guard in the bottom and exposes the uh, metal parts that you'll need to, to take out. So that's that would be your next step. To go any further, you're going to need a pair of pliers, probably uh, a mini tool or multi tool or something that you can get some of these parts out. And we'll set that aside. The next step you want to do is take your magazine out. And for the magazine, you need a small screwdriver or something that you can pry. There is a clip here that you need to get at. You can see that raise up there take your pliers just pull that right out. That looks like a big staple so if you set that aside and knock it off the table people may misunderstand what that is but make sure you keep that set that aside. The next step now you have the tube clip out but what you want to do is put your magazine back in because you want to take this inner magazine tube out and you do that Reinsert your magazine, make sure it's lined up and hooked up, give that a little twist and as you can see that twists your whole inner magazine and that pulls out. Those slots are where the, the clip tube uh, holds that in place. You just pull that right out and that's what it looks like we'll set that aside. Now you have pretty good access down in there both top and bottom. You can get back in here. You can get down in there and you're pretty well set. Our next step is to take the shell stop out and you do that again use some type of push tool pin push and you see the shell stop in there in the spring. The shell stop basically is this device if you see down in here that keeps the shell from advancing out of the magazine tube. This a uh, little arm here is what the bolt rides on. When the bolt goes back it releases that and that releases the shell. You do that, simply punch the, the pin out, pulls right out. You see the spring releases and you have the shell stop and the spring and we'll set those aside. You might want to put your, uh, your pin back in there to hold it together. Now you have that device out now what you have is a shell guide and that just pushes simply pushes right out make sure you don't lose it the shell lifter shell throat bullet guide that will set that aside so you have the first front part of your rifle taken apart of course if you have a 77 or a 10 c this is a detachable magazine so this part isn't even in there so you have to worry about it.
that takes the pressure off your safety. Your next thing is take your safety pin, cross pin out. You can just drive that right out. That comes right out and you have your safety released at that point. And you can just pull your, your safety rod completely out. We'll set that apart. Now what that release leaves us with is the sear and your disconnector and on the bottom your trigger mechanism and your disconnector pivot. First thing we want to do is take out your the trigger pin and I guess just held in with one pin. Now there is a small spring that's holding that in place. What I typically do will just pull that pin out that is held in place and as you release that your trigger releases and then you can just unhook that from that that spring that's down in there now what leaves us now is the sear you want to take the sear out and the sear spring remember that's under pressure so you want to make sure you don't let that fly that is a a pin a cross pin that comes out hold that in place so you don't lose the spring and that will just fall right out and then here's your spring the only thing left to do is take out your uh, disconnector and your disconnector pivot. That's interesting because instead of using a cross pin it uses two small pins. Those just simply push on both sides and they fall right out out of the middle. Use something to disconnect the spring. And then that will just come right up at the top. And there's your disconnector and your pivot and your two springs. You're pretty much done at this point. Everything is out of there. The only thing I didn't mention was sometimes if you get a stock uh, that you buy from somebody, it won't have these cross pins. There's two cross support pins in there that are with a uh, small nut. You can see the small nut and a pin screw. You can take those out. I wouldn't take those out. Those are just supports to keep the stock together should it crack or separate at the uh, the seam here. Now you're, you're pretty much done. If you got um, your rifle to this point you can do pretty thorough cleaning and wipe it down. You'll see there's lots of grit and grime in there and you're in pretty good shape.